Craig, you're on the air, sir. Good morning, Bill. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Oh, fine, thanks. And you're calling from Mud Lake, are you? Yes, the sprawling metropolis of Mud Lake. Yeah, fantastic. Yes, it's. Uh, how many people live in Mud Lake, by the way, these days? Around, you know? About, uh, Fifty. Uh, Fifty people. Yeah. And uh, loving, loving it by the sounds of it. Oh, beautiful day here again today. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. You got a good climate there for sure. Craig, what's on your mind today? Um, a couple of interesting calls you had earlier. Tom Marshall was the first one uh, mm-hmm. about Muskrat Falls. He was. Uh, you know, he he was alluding to all the scrutiny that the project is getting, and he compared it to what well, well, that's also received a lot of scrutiny. Well, that was the Bay to Spare project back yes. in the sixties. Yes. Yeah. And he he mentioned that uh, you know there are no longer any complaints about that project, but it's hard to compare Bay to Spare with Muskrat Falls mm. because of of the uh, you know the instability here and and the I mean it's such a huge gamble. And I mean, this is on. This is for generations to come. I mean, this is on the backs of us and our kids and their kids. When you said instability, you mean geographical, ge- yes, ge- yes. geological instability? That's what I mean. Yes. Yeah, right. I've, I've heard this project compared to Churchill Falls, you know, and, and it's like comparing apples with oranges because Churchill Falls, I mean, that's that's constructed on solid rock. Yeah. Here, I mean, they're, they're relying on sand and uh, and quick clay or. Or pug, whatever you want to call it. Pug or quickly, yeah. To act as the dam. Yeah. How far from Mud Lake is uh, Muskrat Falls? That's about uh, 20 miles. That's not far, is it? That's not very far. And uh, your geology there, the name uh, probably says it all, Mud Lake. Yeah. uh, uh, It's not dissimilar from what it is in the Muskrat Falls area. Is that that be correct? That's correct, yeah. The soil here basically is sand. It's pretty much like Happy Valley Goose Bay. Right. As a matter of fact, everybody here in Mudlake have their own, uh, their own wells, their own private wells. You know, we right. drive a well, a, a well point into the sand. Mm. We go down about 10 feet and we're into water. And we pump it up from there with electric pumps. Yeah. Craig, what would you... Yeah, uh, really interesting uh, 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 geology there, for sure. What about if somebody uh, who's an engineer, civil engineer, somebody, or geologist, expert in the fields of how to cope with uh, those situations that we were confronted with at Muskrat Falls, what about if they said, this is those two clowns, Craig and Bill, talking as if they know what they're talking about. Sure, modern technology can take care of that. What's wrong with those two? Well, Bill... (laughs) One problem with it is that they haven't taken care of the problem. Because as I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, I called you and I mentioned that uh, uh, SNC Lavalin was advertising for a project manager to find a solution to the North Spur. And <laughs> why this project was sanctioned before, obviously they still don't know if this is doable. And, and here they are proceeding, spending all this money hand over fist, and, uh, and the danger is there. It's going to remain there. Mm. Uh, if, if I heard the rumor that they're going to build a dam uh, in front of the North Spur, and, and the cost overrides that are going to be astronomical because it's 800 feet down to bedrock. Craig, are you, I mean, you, you sound like a knowledgeable, experienced, intelligent person. I don't think I know you. I don't think we've ever met or anything. But are, are you saying that at this point in time, with all the millions that have been spent and so on, you're saying that the world-famous engineering company, and SNC-Lavalin, if not famous for its financial honesty, yeah. uh, it, it, they don't have, to your certain knowledge, they don't have a solution to the North Spur problem? As of February the 6th of this year, Bill, they were advertising for a, a project leader to head up uh, the North Spur uh, problem to try and find a solution to it. So that tells me that they don't have a solution to it. <laughs> Almighty, I, I find I got to say I, I don't know who, if you're right or wrong. I mean, I'm not. Uh, uh, I, I'm not saying you're not right, but it, I find it hard to believe. I find it sort of hard to believe that that could be so. You know. You, you can see that posting for yourself if you go online. It's okay. right there. You, yeah. you can you can Google it and you can have a look at it for yourself. It's there in black and white. Well, Craig, um, the so if um, the Muskrat Falls goes ahead, what is the impact? Uh, is it does it make, render Mud Lake a more prosperous place? Uh, does it mean an influx of people? Does it mean Mud Lake is at risk? What's your take on that as a resident? Well, Mud Lake is definitely at risk. Uh, we rely on this river. We cross the river every day by boat or by snowmobile. We have no bridge. We, you know, there's no fixed link or anything here. Uh, we have to cross on the ice. And if everything went according to plan, if, if everything, you know, they built it and it was all hunky-dory, 
there are going to be times when you have uh, rapid melt, snow melts and stuff. They're going to have to release water. It's going to come over the ice, and we won't be able to cross. So mm. it's going to affect us in our day-to-day -day lives, you know, a lot of times. Yeah. Uh, during the filling of the reservoir, when they're holding back the water, we're not going to be able to navigate across in our boats because there's not going to be enough water. There's barely enough now to get across in some places. Craig, has there ever been an offer or even a hint from anyone, NALCOR or the government, that they're willing to buy out the residents of Mud Lake to, uh, you know, move them elsewhere and, and compensate them adequately? No, I've never heard anything of that nature. Okay. Yeah. Never. Had. Uh, Bill, another thing, uh, when I was talking about the water table underground here, mm. uh, I mentioned before that they're going to raise the uh, level of the water by 55 feet on the upper side of the dam. Mm -hmm. Now, the whole north side of that river bank is comprised of this quick clay. There's 150 feet of it. That's how thick this, this layer of quick clay is. Yeah. When that comes into contact with water, it liquefies. Yeah. And even if they build a structure in front of, of the North Spur, which is a little peninsula jutting into the river at Muskrat Falls, even if they build a structure in front of it, the, the land around it still contains this pug, so it can still find a way around this structure they're going to. Right. Craig, uh, unfortunately, we're running out of time. You have a very interesting point you're making there. Uh, keep the conversation going in the future. Anything new you learn, uh, especially about that point you made about SNC Lavalin looking for somebody who knows how to cope with the pug there in the North Spur. That is an actual fact, yes. Yeah, keep us, keep us posted on what you learn on that, will you? I'll do that, Bill. Thank you, Craig. Really Thank appreciate you. it. And Craig, uh, Craig has uh, galvanized, you might say, into learning these things because when your whole community, small though it may be, your whole communi community is or is considered to be at risk in his mind at what's going on in Musrat Falls, you have a tendency to find out, trying to find out what is happening.